So what do you make of what they're trying to do on Capitol Hill, the end goal? And, and who else should Senator Graham want to call to testify? Great questions, Harris. It's, it's very frustrating watching this hearing because a lot of these questions are just simple yes or no questions. When did you find out? Who did you tell? How did Obama know? And unfortunately, Sally Yates uh, doesn't seem uh, in a position to answer some of those, even though she was the number two at the Justice Department and really should have known the details on some of these questions. Yeah, did you catch the part? I mean, we, we played this for our audience just moments, you know, after the commercial break, going into our reporter, Jillian Turner. But, you know, Lindsey Graham, the senator, asking her, well, James Comey didn't let you know certain things before they were happening. Did he go rogue? <laughs> I mean, imagine how frustrating it must have been for anybody working at that point for him in her position not to know the important things that were happening before she would be held culpable. And she is held accountable for this, isn't she? Harris, she signed off on every single one of those FISA warrants that were submitted to the court. Uh, well, and, now she and, says she wished she hadn't. Clearly, she's got to say that, right? Otherwise, she would have submitted knowingly false information, false documents to a federal court, which in and of itself is a crime. So, look, she's in a very tough position, but frankly, facts are stubborn things. There's no yeah. explanation. When she walks out of that January 5th meeting with Obama, with Biden and the rest of the crew, and she sits down in the after meeting and she says, I mean, how could you not turn to Jim Comey and say, what the heck is going on here? How do I, yeah. you report directly to me, Jim. How is it that I don't know these basic fundamental facts about Flynn and everything else that's going on? I, it's, it's hard you for me have to believe been a part how of there. You have been a part of so many cases and, and you obviously were not in that room on that January 5th. Um, so I want to ask you to speculate, but based on the facts that we know, what was happening that she would not have been told? Do we have any idea? Well, let me tell you, let me answer it this way. Let me tell you what should not have been happening. The president should not have, and the vice president, and whoever else, Susan Rice and others, should not have been directing a criminal investigation into the Trump campaign and into uh, General Flynn. Make no mistake about it. That's what I think was happening based on the facts and based on mm. the evidence. Now, will we ever know? Well, that's why uh, Senator Graham wants to put people under oath. And your, your first question, who else? Susan Rice, Vice President Biden, Brennan, and mm. others who were in that room need to testify under oath, including Jim Comey again, about these very questions that you're raising. All right, real quickly before I let you go. Oh, wow, Susan Rice, that would complicate her um, very public push to become a vice presidential pick as the uh, candidate right now for the Democrats. Joe Biden has said he will likely pick a black woman. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but, you know, even the attorney general has said, Guy, you're probably not going to get any charges against Biden or Obama. So do you do yourself any favors by putting those people on the list? You mentioned Rice. Who else? Well, I think that clearly Brennan was involved in this. I think Clapper, uh, the, the intelligence people mm. were involved in this. And then you start looking at the FBI and the hierarchy. McCabe and others who was directing day to day. I just find it so hard to believe that someone who works directly for you, you don't know where they are, what they're doing, what kind of investigation they're conducting, and after the fact, you go in and call them rogue. I don't buy it. You know, ah, now that's interesting. Because, you know, you might look at this and your take could be they're helping her out by giving this, this judicial committee hearing in the Senate, right? Because she gets to get on the record and say what she didn't know. But what you're saying is you don't buy that. I, I don't, based on the facts. You look at the timeline and you see that on January 4th, the FBI says when they interview Flynn, we think he's telling the truth. On January 5th, the very next day, she's called over to the White House and has the meeting with all these uh, big shots. 
and they pull, pull her aside with right. Comey and, and, and say, well, listen, uh, even though I'm not supposed to, Obama, I'm not supposed to direct the investigation, put the right people on it, make sure you have the right people on that investigation. Come on, give me a break. Guy Lewis, we'll bring you back. Thank you very much. Appreciate you breaking it down on a day in which it's breaking news.